In this video, we are going to see how you can perform disaster recovery in AWS EKS by using Crossplane and Valero. Crossplane is an open source utility in the Kubernetes which enables you to provision cloud resources through your familiar Kubernetes manifest files. I have another video and the link will be in the video in the description of this video where you can learn about crossplane more and also i have another video where i discuss valero and valero is a utility through which you can back up your kubernetes and then restore it but in this video we are just going to focus how you can perform the dr or disaster recovery by using these two tools i already have two eks clusters and eks is a managed kubernetes service by aws I have a primary cluster and a secondary cluster and what I'm going to do I will be I already have an EC2 instance provisioned by Crossplane in this primary cluster and I will be backing backing that up by using Valero and then I will be restoring it in the second cluster which is my recovery cluster currently I am in my primary cluster now let's see what exactly is running in my primary cluster i'm checking the instance so as you can see in this primary cluster i have two ec2 instances running so these ec2 instances are running in aws but they are being shown here because i provi provision them by using crossplane so what i'm going to do i'm going to back up this new instance and then I will be restoring it in my recovery cluster or in other cluster and let me quickly show you that I don't have anything in my recovery cluster at the moment for that I will be switching the context to my recovery cluster for that cubes ETL config use context and then I already have this environment variable with my recovery context. I am now I am switched to my recovery cluster. Now quickly see kubectl get instance. So this should show you only one instance, sample instance. So if I switch back to my primary content context. And if I do the get instance again, then it should show me two EC2 instances. As you can see, new instance, sample instance, whereas in the recovery one, we only have one sample instance. So what we are going to do now is to back up this new instance, and then we will restore it in the recovery cluster. Okay, let's do it. Again, the tool which we use to back up and restore is called as Valero. I already have Valero CLI installed and let's see the version of Valero. So Valero version is 1.10.2 which is great. Uh, that's what we need. Now let's back up this. So I'll say Valero backup create and I'm going to call it my backup. And this will take the backup of my backup of my whole um EKS cluster. Press enter. And Valero places its this backup in the S3 bucket. I already have this S3 bucket configured and um when I installed Valero and again I have another video where I show you how to install Valero and specify that S3 bucket. But for this video remember that we place this backup into S3 bucket. And if you want to see more detail around this backup, you can describe it. Let me clear the screen and run this command Valero backup describe my backup. And if you press enter, it should show you quite a lot of information around this backup. Let's scroll up a bit. So this is the command which I just run. It is showing me the backup name, which is my backup. The namespace where it, it will be using for Valero, then some labels and annotations. 
and this phase is the most important um, component of this output where it shows the progress right now it is in progress when it will be completed it will show completed in some green color and then there are a lot of other information as which resources included which were excluded and so on and so forth and then also there is information about the expiry of this backup in the S3. Let's just grab this so that we know where this backup is at right now. So as you can see it is completed now. Also let's also check that where our backups are so i'm just checking my s3 bucket and if you run ls on it it should show you some information so backups because there are different prefixes there now see my backup and in this prefix of my backup we have again my backup let's also check that one and it, show, it should show you various files. As you can see, we have backup related files produced by Valero in this S3 bucket, which contain some volume snapshots, some snapshot classes, logs, and various other things. And if I describe that Valero backup again, then it should have populated that include and exclude fields which we which were not populated earlier so there you go it has some okay it hasn't done it okay it's showing static instead of separate ones it means it has backed up everything and excluded none here which is great okay so that's how we have done the backup now let's switch to our recovery context and then restore it Now I'm switch to my recovery con context. Check the instance. New instance shouldn't be here because we haven't restored it yet. As you can see, we only have as you can see we only have sample instance. Now let's restore it. And the command to do is Valero restore and then Valero restore create and you can just name it anything. I will call it my restore and then from dash backup and the backup name was my backup and that's it so we are specifying the backup from where we want to restore and the name of our own backup press enter and it should again give you a describe command to describe your restore so just write Valero restore describe my restore and it should show you the restoration. Again, it, it is included everything with static and ex excluding some of the Kubernetes own internal stuff. So as you can see, it is showing us namespace and ETA of this backup. Again, we should have a face which is, which is showing us in progress. And we can also grab this face so the restore is in progress let's wait for it to complete the restoration okay so as you can see the restore has now completed now let's check if our instance is there So now you can see that a new instance has been re restored in our recovery cluster. And it should also be present in your AWS console. Now, this is how you can restore your EC2 instances or any other resource in a different cluster, uh, which could be in, in a different region. And then you can also put it in your GitOps pipeline. I hope this was useful. If you have any comments or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you.